What's up guys, Joel Valley from Media Glitch and happy Halloween, man. Uh, gosh, Halloween is probably, October in general is my favorite month of the whole year. I love celebrating scary and horror. And as you can see with my Resident Evil collection, not even all of it, um, I just love horror games, horror movies, but it's not just limited to Resident Evil as far as games. Uh, when I first, first like started playing on PC. One of the first PC games I ever got was Sanitarium. And I wanted to make a Halloween episode about that PC game because I never hear anyone talk about it. It's insanely underrated. And if you haven't played it, you need to try. Why you ask? Stay tuned. Sanitarium is a psychological horror, one of those point and click adventure games. It's single player and it was released for Microsoft Windows back in 1998. It was published by ASC Games, but it was developed by Dreamforge Entertainment. Now I'm gonna jump right into this. We're gonna talk about the story a little bit because honestly, I feel like the story is, it's, it's fascinating. A lot of the story is gonna be told through cinematics. You're gonna get a lot of the story as well through people you talk to and interact with, but some of the main story elements that kind of connect what's going on is told through cinematics. Very well done cinematics too. And so you're a doctor, you just had a major breakthrough, you're leaving your facility one night and you get in a car accident, much like another doctor we know of. What? Oh, what's now, when you finally do come to, your face is bandaged, you wake up in an insane asylum, and you can't remember anything. You don't remember your name, who you are, etc., etc. And you wake up to this. What kind of place is this? A guy smashing his head into the wall. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. The moment I saw this imagery, I was hooked. I was sold. I knew I was going to play this game till the end. So you're going to go, and you're going to point and click on things to try to find things to unlock more elements. Uh, it is, no, you run into this angel and the angel takes you to a town. In this town there are no parents, it's full of children. But not just normal children, okay? These are children that have monstrous, grotesque deformalities. And honestly, I don't want to talk too much about the storyline of this game because it's such a crazy mind trip that I think you want to experience it firsthand. But what I will say, coming from someone who suffered from mental issues in the past, someone who's had to spend some time in, in institutions, someone who has kind of gotten over these things, someone who has dealt with death uh, of a close one, I could very much relate to the elements that were presented in this game. And that's probably why it's a story that resonates with me. One that I think of very often. In fact, it touches on themes that a lot of games at that time never touched on. And it was very brave in its, in its delivery and the way it won and what it wanted to do. As you go through the story, a lot of the, even the characters you play, the elements, things that are hidden throughout the worlds are all part of your past and are somehow connected and related. And it's a fascinating way to tell the story. And I just, I don't want to spoil it because you definitely, definitely have to try it for yourself. But it is, let me just say, probably one of the best stories I've, I've ever played. And I know there's a lot of people on the internet that they don't get it or they say the story falls apart but i just think they're missing elements there because i think it's all here i think it was done correctly executed right and honestly it's one that you'll never forget where is it i can't find it sarah i can't so let's talk about the gameplay of sanitarium 
Now, Sanitarium, like I said, is a point and click adventure. You're basically put in a certain location. You have to discover how to get through the game by talking with people, discovering certain items, and how to use those items within that environment. For example, here you found a towel. You're gonna need that towel to place it over this power cable to get across to the other side. So you right click, open your inventory, use that towel to cross. Come here. And that's a much better way of doing it than this guy. Hey, uh, who are you? <laughs> Now, as you progress through the game, you're going to find yourself confronted with certain puzzles that will bring on cutscenes or open doors. Or either way, you have to solve these in order to advance to the next level. Now, they start off very simple in nature and they get harder as they go. You can see me streaming this where I was just trying to figure it out. But a lot of these are actually really, really fun. I had a very good time trying to figure out, okay, what is what, is, what am I trying to do? Like, and I really like this one where you move corpses up and down a spear. Now that's a good time. I also like these Sherlock Holmes type of ones, but I could not stand this one. This one took forever. This is sped up. That one about drove me insane. Throughout the game, you're also going to embody other people. And now all these characters that you play as have something to do with your past. Like for example, this four-armed monster is actually a comic book that Max used to read when he was a kid. So you get to go into that world and play uh, and try to figure out what's going on through these people. And so you can also play as an Aztec God. And in the last level, you'll be able to interchange in between all the characters to try to solve the last puzzles. Now you can't really die in the game, and there is a battle mechanic of sorts, but only in one part of the game. It felt very clunky, and honestly, I think the game could have been better without it, but it is there, just putting that out there, so. Now let's talk about the graphics of Sanitarium. Wow, these graphics were good back then, and they still hold up now. I feel like they do such a great job really capturing the environment the creepiness, the shadows, the lights, the characters, all the models that they used, however they made this game. It just, it really gives that a good creep factor. Now this game is not a scary game and no jump scares, nothing like that. It's just the, it's the themes that are in it. It's the, the, the way the world looks. And I really think like, you want gore, it delivers on the gore. It's there. So it's a great video game for, for horror fans, for the macabre <laughs> lovers out there. But yes, the graphics hold up big time there for me. Maybe it's nostalgia stuff. talking, but I honestly, I felt like they were just really well done. Now, some of the cutscenes have not aged very well at all. Um, I mean, I don't even know why this guy doesn't have a mouth. I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't know if that's part of the game. It probably is, actually, now that I think about it. But some of these cutscenes for the time that it came out are insanely impressive because, you know, I don't know. I, if I seen this in a game today, I'd be like, okay, that's PS2 era maybe. But, man, they, they serve the story well. They're very well done. And if I'm being honest, I think the game has aged very, very well in the graphic department. So I encourage you guys to check it out. One thing that they really did a good job is the people that you interact with in this game. They look great, the little images that pop up when you're talking to them, and it's just very creepy dialogue. I mean, how creepy is it that one of your missions is to dig up the corpse of a young one and her brother puts her body in a wagon and now she's part of the gang? Oh my god. This decayed child must be Carol, Dennis's secret wife. Now let's talk about the sound and the music of Sanitarium. Just take a listen. Sarah would like to see you now. Oh, my poor baby. You had an awful fall. I'm so glad you've come home. Home? Well, of course, silly. Teacher! Ha! That old backpack? <laughs> Delirious with joy that she takes the bucket for me. 
So the music here is on point. Uh, the dialogue is great. Max's dialogue can be a little bit funny uh, at times, maybe exaggerated. But even when you start the game, listen to the menu. You know you're getting the goods. You quit, delete, save, new game. Every level has music, but has ambiance too. Like here you're at the circus, so you hear circus things going in the background, music that really helps you get involved in the story. Or when you're here in the mental institution, you can hear the leaky faucets, the water running, the people screaming out. All of that helps you. Listen to some of this dialogue. This girl has two wooden legs. Hey, who are you? Oh my God, don't. <laughs> What's your name? What to tell you, dumbass? She's dead, isn't she? Am I going crazy? Again, sometimes Max's dialogue is a bit exaggerated, but it's fun. Now, not all the sounds are good, like this tattoo shop, for example. Like you're tattooing my eardrums with pain. Or this fire. Here is the woman whose magic summoned me. And sometimes it just, it makes it hard to hear the dialogue uh, with stuff like that. So you know even the end credit music is a bit you crazy with a mix up you remix of basically you everything know, you just played. Like we have a winner. Amen to that. Oh, don't cry. The music's not so bad. I don't even know if this video can sum up how much I love this game because it's so nostalgic for me and it hits home with some of the themes and I could really relate to it. So I don't know if I'm, I'm expressing myself clearly on, on how much I love this game and, and what it means to me and it's like I, I talk about it all the time whether it's on a stream or with people. And I'm always surprised how many people don't know this game. And so I just wanted to put this video out there like, hey, this is, a, maybe it's a hidden gem, I don't know. Uh, have you heard of it? Let me know in the comment section below. Have you played it? Have you played it all the way through? What are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on the story? Because honestly, I love this game, every aspect of it, the graphics, the sound, and maybe it looks a little bit dated, but I still have fun playing it. Well, that's it. I hope you guys liked my review of Sanitarium. I loved this game, absolutely loved it. I don't own, sadly, uh, the PC box copy. I hope to get it one day and add it to my collection because there's so much nostalgia there. But if you like this review, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button guys, because that'll tell you anytime I put up a new video. And I'm so thankful for everyone who's been watching. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, share this out if you can. I just want to grow. I want to grow this channel, you know, so, and I can't do that without your guys' help. So anyway, let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite game to play during this Halloween season. I want to know what that is. So uh, let me know in the comment section below and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Uh, could be. I don't know for sure it was raining. I smelled blood. Dr. Morgan was there. He, he looked at me and said I was too damn old for his purposes. And I, thought, I, I remember he, he was holding a human head. And then I think I fainted. I, I they must have thought I was dead. I, next thing I know.